Today was a milestone in my 10,000 steps a day regimen. I got my first blister. I got on the big toe of my right foot. It must have been rubbing on something in my shoe because I started noticing it after about 5,000 steps and by 8,000 steps it became a distraction. I would have expected it yesterday because I did a lot of steps, but it came today. I didn't do any research before I joined it, but then it occurred to me to do some. Turns out, they don't really recommend draining a blister unless it gets really large. Mine was less than a dime around, so I would classify it as small to medium. What I did, though, was the safest thing I could for draining. I lanced it with one of my blood sugar test needles. They were incredibly thin, designed to give you just a drop of blood. It worked essentially the same way with my toe. There was a little liquid, but the skin itself is still intact. The nice thing about blood sugar needles is that they are fully covered until you use them, so they are sterile. The other advice I found was to clean and sterilize the area, which I didn't think to do at the time, but have since taken care of. While the blister is a little painful, I don't think it will prevent me from walking tomorrow, although I will be very careful about how I put on my socks. As far as preventing blisters, the advice is to use quality footwear and moisture-wicking socks. I already do both of those things. I only wear New Balance shoes, which is a very popular brand with nurses and other people who have to be on their feet all day. I started wearing them after I had issues with Achilles tendonitis a few years back, and it hasn't bothered me since. The shoes are extremely durable. I've had mine a while, and I could only see a bit of wear around the heel. I do plan to get a new pair, though, just to be safe. Some of the other advice they give about blisters is around keeping it covered and clean and using ibuprofen to deal with pain and swelling. The pain hasn't been too bad, but I do plan to take some ibuprofen just to control the swelling. They also say rest and elevation. Maybe if it hurt more, I would, but I still plan to hit my 10,000 steps tomorrow. Speaking of steps, yesterday's total steps were 15,032. Pretty high number. I doubt I'll be hitting that number again today, but I have already hit my 10,000, so I feel pretty safe. My weight today was down to 306.4, which is good news coming into the end of the month when I'll be doing some assessment of my progress. If it holds, I will have lost just shy of 12 pounds this month, but there's still two days to go and we'll see how it turns out. Another fantastic piece of news is that my fasting blood sugar this morning was 82. That's a new record low for the year, topping yesterday's 90. I'm very encouraged by that number. I had heard walking helps reduce your fasting blood sugar, and I'm happy to see signs of that. We'll see how well I do tomorrow. Another nice thing is that my resting heart rate continues to trend downward, with the weekly average dropping to 64. It's another number I hope to keep moving downward as my journey continues. My active calories yesterday were 1,194, and my calories consumed were 2,155. I'm happy with both those numbers. Overall, it's been a very good day on the journey. I'll leave you, as always, with my Sir Terry Pratchett quote of the day. This one is from The Light Fantastic. He moved in a way that suggested he was attempting the world speed record for the nonchalant walk. That's it for today. Please like, please subscribe, please comment. Have a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow.